Hello everyone, this is Backwoods from Theta.tv. I'm a partner on the website. I've been streaming there for a little while now, about a year. Today I'm going to show you actually how to stream to their edge node. It's the Theta Edge node. It's a standalone app which uh, is different from the front end website. When you first open up the app, you'll see a bunch of streams that are already running. People are hosting these streams. A lot of them are 24-7. And more uh, known networks like, look, this is Alex Jones, 24-7, World Poker, Poker Tour is on here all the time. A lot more known networks are actually picking up this service and using it as well. So it's good to be an early adopter when it comes to this platform. It's very, um, very fast growing and uh, it's, I feel like it's going to boom all of a sudden and everybody's going to want to know about it. I've actually ran into people on games that know about the Theta token, like say on Fortnite, I've ran to pe into people that know about Theta TV, so word of it is getting out, and I appreciate everybody watching the video so far here, but we're going to get right into it, and so you see as there is watch, you can click down on broadcast, it'll say your stream is offline, and there will be, it will just say, let me take this text out. It'll say enter your stream title and enter a description. So your title can be whatever you want. I put that so you guys can see. Thank you for watching and happy holidays. That's the description. So as you can see here, there's a spot where it says add thumbnail URL. That will be to put a picture of your stream before people click on it. Like as you can see here, that's the picture that's going to be shown. So. You can take and upload your picture to um, a file hosting site or maybe your Google Drive. I just got one from Google for informational purpose for this video. So I take that URL, CTRL, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and it's a .png file. So I tell you, I can tell right there that's going straight to a picture. And then you click Save, and it will that photo will appear here. If you scroll down, you'll see your stream ID. And your ingest server everybody's ingest server is the same so here we go and transcoding everything I'm just gonna leave that same for this video so if we pull up OBS if you don't have this plugin installed on your OBS which allows you to stream to more than one service at once which I will tell you about next you'll go here go to settings stream and then your ingest will be your server here. Your stream key can be anything you like, it doesn't matter. But you will just copy this URL, CTRLC, let me see if it copies, and paste that right into your server. And again, your service should say custom. If it doesn't, just click the drop down and go to custom. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to switch mine over here. I'm going to show you how you would do it if you have the plugin installed. And then I will show you how to install the plugin if you don't. So, and again, I want to give all credit for me knowing about this plugin. It's an amazing open source plugin that allows you to stream to multiple custom RTMP services, RTMP services at one time. Thank you so much, Spooky. Data.tv slash Spooky. He's a great guy awesome CSGO surfer but if you have this plugin then you can click add new target a new target name will say theta edge node so then we go with our server again we'll paste that right in there key any key because it can be anything get from OBS get from OBS and that will you'll see that added right here you must have your main streaming uh, service started. So what I do since I'm a Theta.TV streamer, I leave my main profile, my main information for my main stream in here. This is where I leave my Theta information. Then I add all my extras here. So you can start and stop them at any time, but your main stream has to be started first or you'll get an error just like this when you try to start it. Get encoders from OBS, please start streaming in OBS for once. So you have to start your stream on your main platform, which is Theta. We're just going to go live real quick, make everybody think we're live, then, then close it out. We'll wave hi real quick. 
So we're starting that up now. We're going to start our edge node stream and we are indeed broadcasting there. So now our theta edge node is actually live. As you can see here, it's running and the latency is not too bad. That's very good. Very good. Our stream is running. So let's head on over here to watch. And then you can see that we're up here. We're up here. We can click on it. Okay, so as you can see now, we are live and everything is working fine and we're showing up. So that is how you stream to the Theta Edge node. I'm going to show you guys now how to download and install this. It's called a dock. It's a multiple output OBS plugin. You'll be able to stream to multiple streaming services at one time simultaneously and start and stop these extra ones or anyone and keep the others going. So it's a very amazing plugin. And again, thank you so much to Spooky for providing me with the info on how to use and install this plugin. So here we will reference the actual DM from Spooky, the man himself. He's an awesome, awesome guy. So first of all, all you do is click this link. It'll say, hold up. This is going to take you here. Do you want to go there? It will automatically have the file downloaded in your browser from that link. You download, click show in folder and click extract all. Then you want to go browse. See program files OBS studio and then all you need to do is extract it right here so you click select folder and then extract I've done that already so I'm not going to click extract but if you do the files will be there and then all you have to do is restart OBS you had it running before you installed this plugin then it'll show up right by itself on the OBS app and the author of this app is Sora Yuki. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Thank you so much for creating a great plugin for the streaming community. Also, I thank you guys so much for viewing my video. And I hope that it was helpful and informational. And I hope you choose to stream here on the Edge Node or Theta TV if you haven't already. Because I see it as the future. It will rival some of the bigger names here in the years to come. If not year, you know, year or more. It's, it's going to be growing fast here. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you so much. And see you soon on your streams. Happy holidays. Thank you everyone for watching again. All the links will be down below in the description. Along with Spooky's description or uh, how to of how to download and install that plugin to multi-stream. And also the download for the Theta Edge node, which you will need to start this process in the first place. I appreciate everyone. Good luck mining. Good luck building your wealth in virtual currency and knowledge. It'll be worth more and more every day. Appreciate everyone.